When Charles was a lad, he served a term at Gordon's doom, just to please the firm. They alternated beatings with sadistic games for hours, and when all that was over, there were freezing showers. But the horrors of Hibernia have passed away, and now he is the sovereign of our UK. At the final exams, the lad did well, so he managed to escape from the Highland hell. Determined to continue in a civilized vicinity, he studied anthropology at Cambridge Trinity. Although he switched to history about midway, he got a double two, so that was quite okay. While at the university he found notoriety Performing silly sketches for the drama society They said that he was funny, quite a comedy success He even had a little stab at G and S And you need a sense of humour in a major way If you're going to be sovereign of our UK Eventually, as Prince of Wales, he had to be invested, so a diet of the Celtic tongue he rapidly digested. There seemed too many L's, but he didn't think it silly. He made a lot of effort, and he spoke it quite carefully. He spoke it so carefully that they cried hooray, and now he is the sovereign of our UK. They didn't like his girlfriend, so they packed him off to sea while they found a posher girl to link in matrimony. She couldn't have loved her boys, Will and Harry Moore, and had lots of time for Elton John and Michael Barrymore. Now one of those boys will be king one day, but the other touts his title in the USA. So the time has come for a jolly celebration, it's a marvellous event to unite the nation. If you don't like kings, then you're welcome in a lump to Vladimir Putin and to Donald J. Trump. Imagine President Truss, and I think you'll say, we're better off with sovereigns in our UK.